Hello everybody, welcome back to our talk series. And I'm just going to start off with first saying that I just celebrated my 14th birthday, October 16th. Yay! Happy birthday to ya. And yes, so today's topic is going to be stop treating me like a baby. What? Yes. Your favorite phrase to use these days. This needs to be addressed. It has to be addressed. And this isn't just for me. It's for other young teens out there as well. Mm-hmm. So, um, stop treating me like a baby is something you've been saying a lot lately. Mm-hmm. So, what are the things that you feel like we do that treat you like a baby? What do you mean? Well, first off, y'all just overprotective whenever me and my friends went to hang out they don't ever well they do let me and my friends hang out but they don't per se drop me off there or if i wanted to stay home by myself they wouldn't let me do okay it. wait a minute let's let's address the first issue you said when you and your friends want to hang out most times what do y'all like to go do when y'all hang out? What are the type of things y'all do? Go to the movies, games, all that type of stuff. Like football games, basketball games? Yes, stuff okay. like that. So, your issue with us treating you like a baby when it comes to that is what? Y'all don't ever drop me off. We don't ever drop you off and just leave you there by yourself. That's what, yes, that basically. Okay. So, we do not drop you off and leave you anywhere by yourself because, first of all, we're talking about you at 13 because you just turned 14 a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So, at 13 years old, in my opinion, you were not ready to be dropped off anywhere by yourself without any type of supervision in arm's length. Well, I really wasn't. Just going to be honest. Okay, I, right. I, I you just, weren't. Right now, Mommy, I cannot think of anything that y'all treat me like a baby with because it's. I just can't think of anything other than, well, first off, not letting me stay home by myself. That's first. Okay, so recently, we've let you stay home by yourself for a small periods of time. And the thing with all of your issues is we use parental discretion when it comes to allowing you to do certain things. Mm -hmm. Now that you're a teenager, I know you're getting older and you want that feeling of independence of being able to do things by yourself on your own. But as your parents, we see much further ahead in situations than you do. Mm -hmm. okay so yeah we do have to create a little room for you now that you you know you're 14 which is a little bit older but still not quite old enough to just be completely independent when it comes to us taking you places because there's so many factors that come in and day and times now are different like when we would go to the movies I had older brothers. She has older brothers too, but their age difference is so far apart that where they are in life, they don't necessarily have the time to really take her places all the time and be with her in that aspect because they're still in school. They work. They still have their schedules and the oldest actually has his own family. So it's a little different. So now and also, like, the times have changed when it comes to how people behave in public. Like, people sh have shot out movie theaters. Um, people just, like, running amok nowadays. So it's more difficult to just say, okay, I'm going to drop you off and I'll be back to get you in a couple of hours from the mall or from a movie theater. Because it's just too much that can happen in that short span of time. Mm -hmm. And, you know... As a parent, you want to give your child the independence so that they can grow up and become, you know, functional, responsible adults. But at the same time, you don't want to give them too much because 
uh, situations can just change so fast. And you, as a parent, know what your child can and cannot deal with when it comes to making quick decisions on their safety and what's best in certain moments. So it's not that we don't want you to be able to do things because, like you said, we do take you to the movies, but we don't just leave her there. Like, we'll take her. She can go watch whatever movie with her friend and we'll be in a totally different theater watching a totally different movie. Or we'll be in the same area of the movie theater. And maybe, you know, like one of the theaters is like in a shopping area. So there are stores and stuff you can go shop in while the movie's going on. But we're just not going to just leave her there. I mean, we just don't. I know there are parents that do, but as far as our parenting, we always are looking ahead in situations and things that could happen. Just like football games at school, you know, she's in middle school, eighth grade, getting ready to go to high school. So there are some high school games that she may want to go to with her friends. And at this point, I'm, I'm, I don't think she's ready to be at a high school game by herself. She even admitted that herself. So we'll take you drop her off and let her feel like we're not there. Like we'll be in a totally different section, a totally different area where she doesn't have to communicate with us. We have our phones. We can text, how you doing? What's up? And that's that. So she feels like she's there by herself. It's not like she has to sit up under us, but that umbrella of protection and supervision is going to be there. Now, when you go to high school next year, it'll be a little different, but for now, I mean, that's why it's that way. So as far as leaving you at home by yourself, that has a lot to do with you. Excuse me? What you mean, excuse me? It has a lot to do with you and your whether or not you're comfortable in being home by yourself for periods of time. Oh, okay. See, I can I can stay home during the day, but at night I feel like I would start to become a little paranoid. Mm -hmm. so you know that's part of it as well so right it's 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 on you a little bit it's not completely on us so what other issues you feel like we still treat you like a baby at your your what two weeks of being 14 um nothing really because i mean there's no outfits that i want that are all outgoing i don't really I'm not really into makeup yet. I mean, I guess I have tried to put on, but I'm not into it. Into it. So it's so my my natural beauty doesn't need it. But right. so it's um. Go ahead. That's not, there's nothing else I really have to address other than that because you know. Well, those are two things that I must say as a mother, I am very proud of you on because you're not trying to do too much. You're not trying to be provocative in your dressing and, mm -hmm. you know, doing the most and having stuff hanging out. So I think that's a reflection of good mothering because <sighs> I don't carry myself that way. So I certainly don't expect you to do it. So it's great to know that that has spilled over just by how I carry myself. You're picking up on that. Mm -hmm. So that's good. And then the makeup thing, you know, I, I know that that time will come and I'm glad that you're not rushing that along either. I think that's, that's awesome sauce. So were there any other issues that we needed to discuss that you felt like we were treating you like a baby in any other areas of your life? No, I think that's about it. You've covered most of it. So cool. Anything else you want to say or share with girls that are your age that might be dealing with, you know, their parents treating them like a baby? What can they do to kind of make their parents more comfortable in whatever it is that they want a little leniency in? Just kind of show them that you're ready to, you know, be, you know, independent and on your own because if they don't see it, then they'll still treat you like a child, basically. Like, they need to see that you're ready to be independent. They'll give you a little bit of space. So that's all that I really have to say about so what, that. So okay, on that note, what kind of ways can they show their parents that they're ready for something? What can you think of 
that they can do in their day-to-day -day that shows that they're growing and they're ready for a certain level of responsibility. You need me to help you? Yes, because I see can't it in your think face. Of it right now. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna help with one little thing: chores. Yes, doing your chores every day, doing what you're supposed to do. You know, doing your homework, getting good grades, and doing all of that stuff. Just staying focused on your school stuff and you know being more responsible in that area and then they'll reward you with and doing things without us having to tell you that yeah. shows growth mm -hmm. that too mm -hmm. all right so hopefully you guys you guys got something out of episode four of kissy girl talk if you have any questions that you'd like to um like for us to answer you can just leave them in the comments below and we'll answer them on that next episode. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And we'll catch you guys on episode five coming up of Kissy Girl Talk. Talk. All right. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.